Welcome into the show. It is Wednesday morning. NFL kicks off tomorrow. Very excited. Should be a fun season. And since there wasn't a ton of news the last couple days, I thought that I would just finish my NFL predictions that I wasn't able to do the NFC, so I thought today I'd just do all the playoffs, uh, including my Super Bowl pick, and just get it out there and, and see where we land. So... I'm going to start with the AFC playoffs, then do NFC, and then do the divisional, uh, or not the divisional, the conference championships, um, and then do uh, the, the Super Bowl. So we start off with the, the AFC wild card and divisional. And the wild card, I like Houston uh, to win. I didn't have them winning the South. I had them getting in as a wild card, but now I have them winning the South with Andrew Luck, obviously, uh, retiring. So I have Houston uh, beating. This is my my underdog pick for the season, the Jets. I think that Adam Gase and Sam Darnold are going to turn some heads this year. They have Le'Veon to take a little pressure off. Uh, they have a, a decent enough receiving core. I think when Chris Herndon comes back, they'll be firing on all cylinders. Decent offensive line, adequate defense, um, and I think they get it done. I think they go 9-7, and seven, which is good enough to get them into the playoffs, but I, I do have them losing to Houston in the wild card round. I also have Pittsburgh over Baltimore. I actually have Baltimore winning the division, but in my mind, the way that Baltimore is going to run their offense, I feel like when teams are familiar with it, when they're playing it twice a year like Pittsburgh will this year, Baltimore might beat them twice in the regular season, but I feel like that third time, you know, there's only so much that you can do with a quarterback who is I'm not going to say a liability throwing the ball. I think Lamar can throw the ball, and he can certainly learn to, but he's not quite up to par yet on, on throwing the football down the field, and I think Pittsburgh, third time against Baltimore, will be able to capitalize on that. And so I have them beating Baltimore on the road uh, in the playoffs. Uh, in the divisional, I have Houston traveling to second-seeded New England, and... Uh, uh, third seed of Houston traveling to second seed of New England and falling to the Patriots on the road yet again. I feel like Houston loses to New England like every other year in the playoffs, um, and, and I have it here again. I just think I just think New England's too good um, for for Houston. I think their defenses are, are about on par, and when you have Tom Brady in a playoff game. Look, I think Houston's going to be very good. The, the acquisition of Laramie Tunsil is going to be huge, even though they gave up a lot for it, but. I really, really think it's going to help that team. Uh, so I'm anxious to see, but I still think New England uh, gets it gets it over Houston and advances to the AFC Championship game. And in the other game, I have Kansas City over Pittsburgh. Look, Kansas City, I think, is that good. Pat Mahomes is a freak. You have the fastest man in the NFL, Tyreek Hill, on the outside, whether you think he should be there or not. He is. Uh, you have Travis Kelsey, the best tight end in the league. You have now LaShawn McCoy, who I think is over the hill and not very good, but they like Darwin Thompson. Damian Williams was very, very solid last year when he played, so I like their weapons. Their offensive line's decent. They got Frank Clark on the D-line. They got Tyron Matthew now in the, the, in the secondary, so I think Kansas City really improved their team this offseason. I think they're poised to make a Super Bowl run. I have Kansas City uh, going to the AFC Championship <clears throat> out there in the AFC. And we move over to the NFC now. In the wild card, I have Minnesota winning the North but falling to Dallas in uh, the wild card round. I think the North is going to be actually very weak. Uh, I think Chicago was better... Uh, had a better record last year than, than actually how good they were. I, I don't think they were that good, and I think they are play more near their record this year, 8-8, eight 9-7-ish. Eight, and seven -ish. Uh, And I think Minnesota wins the division at 9-7, at and seven, maybe 10-6, and six, but at 9-7 at and seven right in there, and Green Bay will be right in there as well. So I think it's going to be a very mediocre division. I have Minnesota winning it, but then I have Dallas, uh, probably a 10-6, and six, maybe even 11-5 wildcard team going into Minnesota and knocking them off. 
Uh, I have Los Angeles, the Rams over Atlanta. I think Los Angeles regresses a little bit this year just because Todd Gurley won't be the factor he was last season. Hopefully Cooper Cup can stay healthy the whole season and they'll have that weapon. But um, I mean, the reason they were so dominant last year was because Todd Gurley uh, oh, was an absolute workhorse for, workhorse for most of the season, and I don't see him being able to do that this year. Uh, and, and I have Atlanta getting in. I think they're good enough on the offensive side of the ball. Matt Ryan, Julio, Calvin Ridley really coming to his own. Um, if Devontae Freeman can stay healthy too and, and, and really balance that, that rushing attack with that passing attack, Atlanta's a very good team. Divisional, I have Philly over Dallas Divisional uh, matchup in the divisional round. Uh, I love Philly. I think Car- I, I think they have the best offensive line probably in the league. Carson Wentz, I expect him to stay healthy. I do. Uh, they br- bring in Deshaun Jackson, who seems to be ageless. They really, really improve the rushing attack. They have you know a thunder and lightning combination with Jordan Howard and Miles Sanders. Uh, I, I love, love, love this Philadelphia team, and and I'm uh, I'm, I'm all in. Uh, and and I have New Orleans over Los Angeles. I have the Saints in the Superdome. Um, Avenging last year's heartbreaking, horrible defeat to the Rams. Uh, so I have New Orleans and Philly advancing to the NFC Championship. So we move on to the championships and the Super Bowl. In the AFC Championship, I have Kansas City over New England. They they really should have won last year a really slow first half. If they had just played decently in the first half, then they win that game going away. But I think this time, <clears throat> no gronk to save New England in overtime. I think Kansas City gets it done. Uh, I think this is their year uh, to, to get back to the Super Bowl. And on the other side, I have Philly at home over New Orleans. I think Philly goes 13-3 and in the regular season this year. I think New Orleans does the same, but I think Philly uh, gets, gets the tiebreaker. And, and so they get the home field advantage over New Orleans, and they win, and they go back to the Super Bowl for the second time in three years. Again, I just think Carson Wentz, Ertz, their revamped rushing attack, a great offensive line, and, and solid weapons on the outside with Alshon, Deshaun Jeffrey. You still have Aguilar there, uh, who's been solid with Wentz. So. And, and then in the Super Bowl, I have Philly over Kansas City. It's a very even matchup, two great young quarterbacks, ton of weapons uh, on the outside for both those guys a, a wealth of weapons uh, but I think Philly gets it done I, I I think I might kind of be rooting for Kansas City there I'd love to see Andy Reid win a Super Bowl I think he's maybe the best coach without a Super Bowl championship so I'd like to see him get one but I think Philly has enough this year about them to do it, and I think it starts again with the offensive line and the rushing attack, something they did not have at all last year, and they still went to the playoffs. Um, and I think it'll look far more like it did when they won the Super Bowl in 20, uh, what was that, 2017, 2017, uh, where they won the Super Bowl. Uh, I think their rushing deck is going to look more like that, and it'll give them more balance uh, and a far better offense than they had last year. So that is the end of my picks. Those are my my NFL picks for the season. Feel free to talk crap about me down below in the comments. Let me know who you're picking. Uh, I'm sure I'm wrong on everything, so I look forward to your um, no doubt constructive criticism because surely no one would come in here and be mean in the YouTube comments. Um, That's all I've got. Make sure to go check out the website. It is Preview Wednesday. Great, great preview up on the site today um, with my betting picks for the weekend. All the college top 25 games, uh, if they're playing a Division I team, and uh, all NFL picks uh, straight up and against the spread. So make sure to check that out, zoneread.weebly.com. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when we are live every weekday morning at 6 a.m. Thank you for watching, and I will see y'all tomorrow.